Now moving on down to the leg, we're going to look at a few muscles down here and what we're going to start with is we're going to start with the muscle right here. This muscle right here is the gluteus. Um, there are again multiple muscles kind of in that group, but these muscles right here, we're just going to collectively call those the gluteus. Okay, um, There is actually the gluteus medius and the gluteus maximus, but again for our test purposes, gluteus is going to be just fine right there. Um, the gluteal muscles are actually going to help to move your leg and also to help to stabilize your hip when you're walking. Now one of the large muscles that you're going to find down on the leg here is this guy right here and he is uh, divided up into multiple um, heads is what they call it. But for again our purposes you're only responsible for knowing the full name of this muscle right here. And the name of this full muscle right here is called your biceps femoris. This is a muscle that makes up your hamstrings. So if you do squats, this is one of those muscles that you are going to be conditioning when you do squats. Another muscle that's going to help to stabilize the pelvis when your legs are moving are going to be this large muscle right here. This large muscle right here you're going to see has a very broad piece of connective tissue that is called fascia. This muscle is called the tensor fascia lata and the tensor fascia lata helps to stabilize your pelvis when you're moving, when you're walking or when you're running. Now if we make our way down to the lower part of the leg here, I want to draw your attention to this very large muscle here. This is your large calf muscle. The name of your calf muscle is the gastrocnemius. So the gastrocnemius is going to be the muscle that's going to stabilize your lower leg and aid in again walking and running. You'll also notice that as you move down the gastrocnemius, you're going to find this elongated tendon right here. And remember, tendons are going to connect muscles um, to bones. This tendon is your Achilles tendon right here. Now there's one more muscle that we're going to look at. I'm going to flip the rabbit over. And we're going to move into kind of the lower in the groin area here on the inner thigh. And there's one muscle that's another component of your hamstrings. And it's this large muscle right here. This large muscle right here is known as your semimembranosus. And again, it's going to work with your biceps as part of your hamstrings when you're walking or when you're running. Now, these are the muscles that you're responsible for knowing for the lab test. You can review the video and you can review the lab document that you have to go over all of these different muscles.